Hey guys, it's Kevin. Welcome to part two. So you have refilled your 67 cartridge and uh, you print happily ever after. Then you then you do something. You like you change your you change your paper, add more paper like now. Then you got a E0 error right in your face. Uh, this is as just basically the printer cannot recognize cartridge. So you want to take the cartridge out, clean the contact points, and uh, put the cartridge back. Do it a couple times, and uh, if you if you still get error, that means the cartridge went bad. Depends on what you're doing earlier. So if you were uh, refilling cartridge and put the cartridge back, and this uh, uh, this error occurs, it probably it is you have uh, some excessive ink get into the chip. So you want to clean the contact points a little bit, put it back, so HP is correct. However, if you re remember the beginning of the video, I was just changing the, I was just adding more paper than this happens. So obviously it's not the contact points. It is HP did something to it. So all the lawyers, okay, HP did something to their cartridge. So put down your lawyer pants, stop chasing ambulance, and uh, there's a bit new business for you. So I call up a friend who's in refill business. So what he told me is, actually HP 67 is refillable. However, if you get a starter cartridge, and uh, there's more likely you get a E0 error. He called he call those uh, refillable ones, chosen one, <laughs> okay? So uh, let's say if you get a starter cartridge, you're less likely get a chosen one. And uh, if you get a regular cartridge, and uh, your chance increase. He didn't tell me how much. He doesn't want to uh, disclose his business uh, uh, secrets. Um, but he said uh, for the XL version, and uh, nine of ten is chosen one. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna collect some data. Uh, for the black cartridge, we're still using the start cartridge coming with the printer. The refill one will print 100 pages, and the refill two will print at 110 pages. And uh, for the color, the uh, starter cartridge is dead. And uh, for then we, we got a regular cartridge. We print 110, and we receive a low ink warning, and uh, the color went out. So we have to do refill number one for the color. 41 pages later, uh, the color got an E0 error again. So for the black, we're still on the starter cartridge. And uh, the black printed a total of 251 pages. And the color there already uh, went through the two cartridges. The starter uh, cartridge printed 100 pages, and the regular printed 141 before it died. Just like WAVs, everything wrong is because you didn't communicate correctly. Okay, I'll let you talk to more expensive cartridge, XL. The black ink refill three took ten more pages, and the color went out. So totally, refill three printed uh, fifty-one pages, and then I got fewer and fewer pages per refill for the black. Uh, so the for the color, I'm still uh, using the original ink, uh, no refill yet. By now, you'll probably figure out that the black cartridge. The starter cartridge is a chosen one, so we give a nickname Neil. Uh, we need to do some operation on Neil because we can refill every 20 pages. And uh, after we remove the cover and uh, take a look of the sponge, we found the HP changed their sponge. And uh, now it have a larger pores, so it holds less, the ink, uh, holds less ink. We'll replace this cover with a transparent cover. The HP is using the, uh, the sponge to regulate the uh, ink pressure. Uh, we use a special pressure regulator on the cover, so it doesn't need sponge at all, and we can make it spongeless. And uh, uh, I'm, gonna sh uh, I'm gonna put a link uh, of how to make a spongeless cartridge uh, here on the top. And let me do a little bit of special today. Um, we're going to make a hybrid. We're going to make, we're, we're going to make uh, both sponge and spongeless hybrid in one unit. And uh, that's going to correct some uh, ink cartridge problem with the ink leaking. And uh, it helps a little bit. So if you try to make a spongeless and it doesn't work, and uh, you can try this method. So we smooth out the top. 
and we remove the lower portion of the wall completely. You can keep uh, the upper portion of the wall because that is going to prevent you uh, install the cover upside down. And uh, the, for the black, if you remove all the walls, it's pretty easily you install it upside down. Now I put a sponge back to the box. And by the way, this hybrid only works uh, for non-XL cartridge. Now, XL cartridge, you don't have this. Personally, I don't uh, I don't like the hybrid, uh, but if some people just they just cannot get the uh, the completely spongeless cartridge working. So I don't know why, but yeah, the, it, here's something new that you can try. Uh, so this way you get two things to regulate the pressure, so it may be better. Now I can glue it together, and uh, please refer to the original how to make a spongeless cartridge. And uh, it's more detailed step by step and give uh, lots of uh, pointers. And uh, make sure you're going to glue it airtight. Wipe out the excessive ink and uh, then um, uh, put the rubber bands on. And let it set for 12 to 24 hours. Okay, now uh, I, I use SP, means uh, spongeless. Uh, so let's print the uh, first 50 pages. Um, the during the printing, I have uh, this strange error of uh, E1, and uh, if you look it up, E1 means the uh, incorrect paper size. I couldn't figure out until I restart the printer, and it seems sometimes your software is telling the printer that you you're going to print on a wrong uh, 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 another paper size and. Uh, uh, somehow the whole system messed up. So you just restart your printer, restart your computer, and the, the thing will be fixed. And uh, some pages later, the, uh, uh, we just had the first refill for the color. So the color, the color original one, printed 171 pages, and uh, the black over black starter cartridge is still going strong. The spongeless right now is printing 91 page. Now you can see the advantage of uh, using a spongeless cartridge. And uh, now we're printing 141 pages on the spongeless. And the review one of the color XL cartridge did pretty well. It printed 160 pages. Uh, but the second review of a color cartridge, and it appears has this uh, sponge fatigue problem again. Only printed 45 pages, and uh, before it needs to be refilled. So the color cartridge is also a chosen one. However, uh, I have this uh, fatigue uh, sponge fatigue problem. You're going to re get a reduced uh, refill volume after the first refill. And uh, if you want to correct that, you can get a, you can convert it to spongeless color cartridge. Uh, you don't have to do the hybrid and uh, just do a color one. And most most likely, it's going to work. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.